Morning, many thought Harvey's most punishing blow was over, but that simply was not the case. Towns more than 100 miles away from Houston were hammered. This parking lot was turned into a military base for rescue teams, and even at this hour, they are still looking for the missing. This morning, Harvey is now a tropical depression and is carving a new path moving inland over Louisiana after leaving behind a disaster in southeast Texas. The monster storm causing flash flooding in Beaumont and Port Arthur, both cities underwater after Harvey unleashed 26 inches of rain in one day. The U.S. Navy and Air Force are staging a massive rescue operation, flying around the clock search missions, plucking men women and children from rapidly rising waters. We rode along with one team experiencing some of the dramatic rescues firsthand. Within minutes, Tamika Singleton and her family were spotted from the air, desperately waving a towel. Her grateful family lifted one by one into the chopper. It was like waving in the middle of the street. We were like so happy, like God had to answer our prayers. The devastating floods cutting off roads in and out of Beaumont, a city of 120,000. For many, this is the only way out. But the danger is still high, with winds tossing rescue baskets as they're lifted into the air. Jaquetta White clinging to six-year-old Bella as she and her daughter were brought to safety. What was that moment like going up in the helicopter? How horrifying, because I'm deathly afraid of heights, so it was, it was horrifying. But we're good, we're, we're blessed, we're thankful. But for some families in Beaumont, tragedy. 41-year-old Coletta Sulcer and her three-year-old daughter were swept away by the floods. Sulcer lost her life, but miraculously, the toddler survived. For evacuees, a temporary respite. More than 300 people pouring into this shelter just outside Beaumont. Newboards carried by rescuers out of harm's way. In Port Arthur, neighbors and rescuers rushing to a nursing home. Nearly 70 elderly patients stranded inside as it quickly filled with water. Dozens traveling by boat and by helicopter evacuated to a town nearby. In the skies over Port Arthur, Customs and Border Patrol officers bringing relief to those left stranded. For one man who was paralyzed, there was no other escape. With Harvey's death toll at at least 28, many here fear that number will continue to rise, especially as they look for the missing in nearby Beaumont. Craig. Miguel, are they confident they've gotten everyone out of Beaumont? No, Craig, they're not. They're not. They are still looking for thousands of people who are reported missing. And those searches will continue all day long. All right, Miguel, I'm going to go for us there. Miguel, thank you. Just heroic efforts we saw there. It's Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.